coming to parents now once upon a time with the small children in the school and one thing i learned there are two th- two three types of competition one is competition in the market okay or in the school or in the field most parents will have competition with their children what is your son scored i never ask that one how much your son scored and how much my son scored and compare don't do that it is not good for you and worse for your child every flower is beautiful but it's in own way you cannot say rose is better hibiscus is not no hibiscus has its own property its own color its own volume and uh, it, it it looks different every child is a flower by himself or herself do not compare and you know when uh, my children is to appear for the exam they get marks and just see keep quiet i have seen many parents because i came from a teacher's family i understood what it is but i have seen parents they will retotal it okay they retotal not the child the child is very happy to play outside oh teacher has not given one mark here in in programming there one mark less out of 10 she has given nine he and because the real problem uh, the uh, programming is really right so she or she should get 10 next day they come with that oh, sir you should give my child or madam you should give 10 marks okay due to some reason that you know what happens when correcting paper you know the teacher i know for us between 9 and 10 there is not much difference it is very very good okay logically hand write everything is good give 10 little bit of the difference is that you nine okay that's the way normally i never to give 10 marks to anybody always keep them little low always we prefer to give as a teacher you don't want to give 100 out of 100 in language at least no language other than sanskrit you can get 100 out of 100 because language is individual individual taste in mathematics and all you cannot help it because logically you should do that one but still if the child gets 99 parents said where he i have seen so many parents telling their child the child comes with the report i got 95 instead of being happy for 95 where did you lose the remaining five marks don't ever do that you know if you burn them when they are young they will be burnt out by the time they come to college and you regret for that don't make your child burnt out by the age of 14 or 16 or 18 they have big life ahead you want your child to what is your aim in life actually you should question that what is your aim in life i want my child should get always first rank it is not possible because this world has many bright people many scoring people many good people not that nobody can remain the zenith for long time nobody including bill gates nobody can remain because mother earth in one of his classics bahuratnani vasundhara he says oh mother earth you have many kohinoor diamonds in with you not one kohinoor many kohinoor diamonds so your child has many things which is inside don't don't ever think why the child lost five marks be happy he got 95 that means almost five marks he missed to the perfection be happy don't go on adding marks and quizzing the teacher why he should not get 10 out of 10 9 out of 10 okay teacher will say okay take one more mark doesn't matter but by the time you know you do your child observes please remember role models are not sudha murti role models to your children are parents how your mother talks how what lies she tells not the father is later first is mother that's what we call a mother tongue and every mother thinks the child is an extension of her body it's a reality when the child cries why mother the child is crying mother is not crying nothing happened to mother the child is hurt but mother cries because every woman it is biologically and psychologically the child is extension of her body if something happens to a child mother cannot take it there's a very unusual unconditional love god has gifted between mother and a child so you have more responsibility than father than father whatever you do your child will absorb that like a sponge suppose you lie on the telephone the child says okay there is a correct way you and i should do that if you compare 95 to 100 when the child grows big to, uh, you know and gets a job he compares himself or herself with his colleague what promotion he got today you compare for marks tomorrow they compare for grading or they compare for the promotions salary it is nothing like i don't say you should not compare where you are needed to compare to learn something new yes you have to compare with whom you have to compete then you have to compete within yourself